Well, it's been a couple of days. I thought I'd wait out the rain, and I did wait out the rain. And the rain turned into snow. So, what are you gonna do? I've done a fair bit of cleaning. I've blown this thing out really, really well. Uh, swept up the floor around it. It's definitely not ideal for a uh, <laughs> at-home paint job, but you know what? It is what it is. We'll dump a bunch of water or snow or whatever it is on the ground, so it'll be nice and damp. Uh, I did put the thing on jack stands. We'll then get some cardboard or something up in the uh, the rear wheel arches. It's very tight with the tire there. Blocked that off. Uh, I went out and bought a bunch of tack rags. So my plan right now is start masking, and then uh, I mean we'll go from there. Really, all we gotta do is mask the dash really well, and it's gonna be a little bit funny because I do want to paint uh, this. Even though it's supposed to be like a chrome piece all over, I think we'll paint it red for now. And uh, so masking around the door is going to be tedious. We'll probably do the dash, then we'll do another piece over the whole interior and whatnot. We'll do the wheels. We got a little bit of trim in the front and the back, which I didn't take off. So be it. Uh, laziness is taking over, I guess, so I'll pay for it in masking. And then uh, when I get overspray all over it, I'll uh, polish it out after. It'll look just fine. It is windy as hell, it's cold as hell. So we got that all dialed together. I gotta get a fan, because I wanna put a little bit of a exhaust fan out the door maybe or something like that. We'll go real fancy here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take my time, mask this thing up, and I'll bring you back uh, more ready for paint. Well, I think we're about as ready as we're gonna be. So I did kinda take the door shut. I do have a little, little fan on the bottom. Hopefully I'll get some of the exhaust out. Garbage bags across the front. We got all the wheels done. It's up in the air. They did a pretty good job masking the interior. I really went hard around the, the dash. That's what I'm concerned about. I should be able to get here, no issues. Oh, power's going all over the place. What can I say? That's how she's gonna go. We got all our stuff kind of set up. I might have to move this so I got a little bit more room. I got my new gun. This is a 1-4 tip. So that'll be a good one. Lay that down. Last thing we have to do, I got my little a couple of tack rags. I'm just gonna go over the whole car. So you can see there's just a little bit of kind of fluff and dust and whatnot. We're gonna wipe the whole, whole thing down. If there's anything left over, it'll pick it up is the theory behind it. So I'll get that taken care of. And then I'll uh, get the bench all set up. I'll see you guys there. The plan is gonna be one kind of light tack coat. We're gonna really dry for 20 minutes, half hour, whatever it's gonna be. Oh, I have to mask these. People are asking about this, why I didn't take these off. Because they're all broken and I silicone them on the fender. So, I don't know. They're not going to come off easy. Anyway, um, so I'm going to get everything done. I'll see you at the bench. Like I said, we'll put on hopefully three good coats. One light, two kind of fairly medium heavy ones. And if we have to end up wet, uh, wet sanding and polishing and all that, so be it. And if it all goes completely to crap, at least it'll look decent on camera. And uh, I can deal with it down the road. Put it in storage. That's the junk I never finish. You know what's kind of fun? We're gonna mix this paint up and you know put some paint down and all that. And right now we're thinking, well I'm thinking, is the title gonna be flawless hundred dollar paint job or is it gonna be I'm an idiot? We're redoing it. Anyway, we got uh, some paint in there, so we're gonna go four to one with the activator. And then what I think we're gonna do from there is then pour it into this one to reduce, and let's do a little bit at a time. That will help some mixed paint. And uh, so I think I'm gonna use a fair bit of reducer. It did work out pretty good the last time. So, this is tedious. I'm gonna get this all mixed up. We'll put it in the other one and then we'll uh, try uh, thinning it out and see what it looks like in the gun. Okay, so we got her all blend it in I guess as much as it's gonna go how much do you really want to go and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do I'll just be able to recreate with the reducer in this one I think it might be a little tight I'd have it right full and I'd try to pour it be a nightmare so we're just gonna gotta pick a line over here so we'll put in let's say two parts of mixed paint activated paint and then I think I'm gonna A lot of times, like I said, it's kind of four to three, so we'll go about that. We'll see just how it's gonna work out. So that's just under one and one, or one, two, one. So let's get her mixed. I don't know how it's gonna go with this uh, one, four tip. The other one I use is one, eight. 
and I reduced it one to one, and it was a little too reduced. But my good buddy Scott over at Cold War Motors said, reduce the hell out of it. That guy's way smarter than I am. All right. It's probably good enough, eh? Mask up, put some in the gun. Okay, test door. Uh, seems to flow okay. Let's get set up, turn the fan on. Wish me luck. All right, it's not going, we're not starting off that great, but uh, can't go anywhere but up. died on me so I don't know what you heard but it's going on pretty good went on pretty thin so you can definitely see through it but uh, I think we'll make a pretty good progress I'm gonna put a little more paint in the gun and keep giving her First, we're gonna see it. You know the lumpiness right here is there's trim all gonna be there. The door and the fender look pretty good. Alright. Gonna go around the other side, we'll do the back. Uh, oh you guys just come with me. Let's start the fender. Don't mind the wind noise, that's for my exhaust fan. That's a uh thought exhaust fans make a difference. Okay, so we're about 20 minutes in. I don't know. It's not uh, not fantastic. It's okay. There's some junk in the paint for sure, but the hood, the deck lid, I'm pretty happy that it came out. Now, obviously, it's still very, you can still see through. So we'll try uh, at least one, if not two coats. We've got lots of paint. I just mixed up the, the rest of it. So that's all good to go. So try putting a little bit more product on this time and uh, see how it goes. So again, lay some more on. And I was a little timid, so we definitely got to put a little more in. Like you can see on the uh, on the deck lid and all that. So I'm learning. We're getting better. If we can carry on at this pace, I think we're doing okay. And honestly, two or three coats, if it goes on, we can wet sand it down if it's all lumpy. So I don't know. Ignore this, because that, that looks terrible. Here. Here. Okay, so we're back at it. What I want to do this time, I want to get the back of the windshield, because it was spraying onto the hood, and then I'll do both fenders and the hood in one section, and then carry on. That way there's not a break on the fender, it'll be a break on the door. In my brain, that makes sense. We'll see.
Okay, I think that went on pretty good. A little, little more paint in there. It's looking good. I got a couple of drops of water on the other side. I don't know how I did it, but I did. It's probably my sweat from my brow. So we'll get you guys sweat up and I'll uh, put a little more paint in the gun. All right, let's get after it. I definitely think it's gonna take three coats because the parts I have it, that I sanded through in the primer are, uh, they're bleeding through a little. We can't have that. Remember years ago, I was painting, uh, well, Murr did it, a 70 Monte Carlo of mine, and we did single stage, and we ran out of paint, and it looked fine in the garage, and we took it outside, and there was spots that bled through, and it drove me nuts. Well, again, lesson learned. But that's the old, uh, I should have brought more paint. I will go around and show you all my runs, but for now, I'm honestly extremely happy with it. Uh, there's a little orange peel and all that sort of stuff, and you know, it's one of those things where I guess the more paint you lay on, the less orange peel you might have, but the more risk you have of a run. And if you put it on a little lighter, you might do a little wet sanding and polishing, and you know what, I'm fine with that. And you know, oh, don't fall over, buddy. This is what it's gonna look like rolling down the road. So if it only got this good, I'd be happy-ish with it. It's shiny, it's red, we're all good. Now I think what the problem was, I actually over thinned the paint a little. So I thickened it back up with the last coat. And I think that'll be the key because I actually stopped and added a little paint and it seemed to do a little better. So the thin made it come out the gun nice, but I guess it didn't have as much stickiness or something like that on the side. But, I mean, come on. Shiny Rev 57 Chevy. Unfortunately, we have nothing but crap weather right now, as you've seen outside. But, <clears throat> if tonight we get it all red, we'll demask it, we'll do all that, you know, let it dry. Next couple videos, we'll put the bumpers on, put the interior in, get it all looking like a car, look good from a distance, and then, hopefully, we'll get a little bit of nice weather and park outside, let it really, really dry up, like really harden up the paint. Now it might happen in here, we'll leave the heat on and all that stuff, but a good wet sand out in the driveway with a hose will really make this thing look good. Followed by a polish, we'll get myrrh out there, but I'm going to get uh, the gun loaded up, we'll put the last coat on, whew, I'm ready to be done. Alright, last coat, who's excited? We are a few hours later. Dry to the touch. There's a there's a little bit of kind of orange peeliness to it. I don't know. We can we can polish that out. No. Just a little fingerprint in there, no big deal. So uh, the runs. 
where was it? This this went ugly, right in there. Well, that's still soft. So that'll need some. We had another one on the other fender, but you know the top bits came out nice and shiny. Again, we can polish and do whatever we gotta do there, but I'm I'm overall pretty happy. So let's see if we can get this thing unmasked real quick here. Um, well, the paint's still kind of soft. Not really going to worry about pulling anything off because there's any hard lines we had. But uh, I want to see what it looks like. having it demasked looking like a car I'm pretty happy I gotta get on a windshield I don't have one that's definitely a job I have to take, uh, taken care of but we're gonna leave it for a day or two we'll see like I said it is it's it's dry to the touch and stuff like that but uh, if we start gouging into it we'll definitely have a problem the hood I'm really happy with the, way the hood and trunk lid and all that kind of came out I think you know at the end of the day learning how to mix the paint a little bit different. I might have had a little bit too much reducer in on the second coat, which caused it to run. The third coat, I thickened it up and it definitely put more paint on and that caused it to be a little shinier and nicer and it didn't run as much. So again, a big part of that is probably not having the skill to paint with miscellaneous tractor paints and stuff like that. But what are you gonna do? There's not really a whole lot of instruction uh, for what we're doing here, but overall I'm very happy with it and I know I can there's lots of paint on here So I can definitely wet sand and polish it and make it look really really nice I'm happy with the color and I think that's the biggest issue. It looks good on camera. It looks good in person So what more can a guy want? so I think I mean in the auto body world I'm sure they would bake it and let it wait and then they would color polish and sand and all that sort of stuff We're not gonna do that. We're gonna put the trim on we're gonna make a look at a car because odds are things gonna go outside and we'll give it, I don't know, a few days or a week. I'm not really too sure. We'll have to play it by ear and see what it wants before we can start, uh, you know, kind of giving it a little bit of a rub down and, and bring it back. I mean, Merce here now, we had, it wasn't for the freaking snow. I put this thing outside. It was, you know, 15 or 20 degrees Celsius above, uh, above freezing. I let it sit for a couple days. I'm sure it would harden up in the sun and be ready to go. But we'll put the trim on. We'll see what trim I have. I did collect a little bit in the basement over the years, so I won't put the good trim on this thing. Uh, the bumpers are pretty beat up. We'll straighten out the bumpers. We'll get those on. We'll put the interior together, door panels in, all the garnish moldings, all that, make it look nice, and really bring the car together. There's a lot of red here <clears throat> um, right now, which, understandably, that's all there is, is red. Tri-5s look good in two-tone, let's be honest. The convertibles only have the one color, so you really need the trim on them, I think, or else they're just overpowering. But we're there. I'm happy. I think it looks really, really good. Let me know what you guys think and get out there and try it. Worst case, you screw up, and just like this, if, if it really bugs me or it turns out like crap, we can't polish it, we'll sand it down and try again. It's, uh, that's all you can do. But what it looks like on camera, before we polish it and none of those things, it's gonna look good rolling down the road as far as I'm concerned. Was there some waviness to it? Absolutely. Did I have it perfectly straight? I absolutely did not. But honestly, I wouldn't be embarrassed to uh, leave this thing in the parking lot while I go in for a uh, bag of chips. So that's all that really matters. Danny loves it. And uh, I'm really excited to get polishing on it because the orange peel is a little bit in certain spots. Definitely, I put the paint down, like I said, real thick on the hood and on the deck lid. It turned out the best. I got leery on the on the sides here because that's where I think it was more likely to run and I should have put more paint on, on the third coat but hey next time we're painting the tri-5 with tractor paint I'll know what to do so thank you very much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it we're gonna crank the heat bake this thing for a day and uh, well, I'll be back at it in a day or two see how it goes thanks for watching subscribe to the channel see you in the next one